the NFL has a penalty problem. I'm sick and tired of these flags in seemingly more random situations. They started off the year on a yellow note. I don't know if that quite makes sense. That was good. With the flags in that Thursday night football game. We haven't seen that since. The illegal formations, those have not been a point of emphasis since. Darnell Wright. They got Darnell Wright yesterday, but it's nowhere near as often as we were seeing it. But there were some just god-awful calls around the NFL, whether it was Matt LaFleur getting flagged just because he was upset they didn't give him a timeout, whether it was Minka Fitzpatrick getting flagged because he hit a guy too hard, Mm -hmm. whether it was... On Thursday Night Football, them calling the face mask on the guy who got face masked early on in that game. It seems like a millennium ago, by the way. Thursday yeah, it kind of does. <laughs> and then the Commanders game, there was the worst pass interference call I've seen all season long. 47-yard penalty that no one really talked about because the game was kind of out of hand at that point. The commanders were already at 10 points. But it was uncatchable by about seven yards, and they threw a flag on it to give a 47-yarder. And all of this is just feeding into the fact that gambling has never been more popular than it is right now in terms of widespread across America. The money that the NFL has at stake right now is insane. They have to do something about this because they are going to get more and more calls of impartiality towards the impartiality of these refs and these flags in big situations, as we talked about a couple weeks ago with that Bengals-Chiefs game literally being decided by a flag or not. I think there's got to be an. They have to do something about this this upcoming offseason. They just have to. Uh, and I wonder, I wonder if the NFL realizes that even people that love football are going to turn the football games off if these flags keep coming out. If if I'm stretching these primetime games until past midnight, I'm going to have to just watch the the highlights in the morning because at the end of the day, there's a lot of people that love watching football. But if you're staying up late and the flags are coming on every single play, and there's a timeout here, timeout there that gets thrown in. Next thing you know, you can't keep up with your sleep schedule and you're going to lose some fans and it rolls over to next week. Your sleep sucks. You're tired all week. You got to take naps. You might miss out on Thursday night football. But I mean, yeah, there's a lot of penalties. But then the other side of the coin is I'm watching the Rams Bears game and Matt Stafford gets absolutely face you know what it on his last throw of the game on the interception and there's no call. Yeah. So there's fans begging for more penalties too. Cause I had a bunch of Rams fans in my mentions there. Well, it's, it's, I think that's the problem though. No, it's not necessarily, yes, there's been a lot of penalties, but it's also the inconsistency of application yep. of these penalties that just, that's what makes you most upset. You can deal with refing proves that hold flags for most of the game that are going to let the, let the guys play the as, as play. they say. You can deal with guys that are overtly flaggish, but you can't deal with guys who are just haphazardly throwing them one way or the other. And that's when you get the calls of like, well, it's like watching a pitcher. It's like watching bias. a pitcher throw, and you know you have an umpire, and you know that he's going to squeeze you on the inside part of the plate. That's okay. That's his deal. We're going to make sure that we are cognizant of that. As an NFL player, when you're playing against. Uh, you were playing with different crews every week. You don't know how they're going to call these things. And yes. with all these new penalties and points of emphasis, it's not like they have a track record where it's like, this guy's going to call this penalty a lot. We've seen it over the course of the last five years. So now you're going out there and you're guessing your technique may have to change. And no, nobody wants to see players hesitate you know, on the football field. And I would err on the side to let the boys play. Uh, but obviously we've seen that they are not letting the boys play. I agree. And I'm on that side as well. I think complaining about there weren't enough flags is always kind of like a loser response, in my opinion. That's like what you do when you lost the game. But the answer, and I'm going to propose this probably a zillion times throughout the season, Sky Judge. You have to have a guy with the angles that everyone has at home, that the angles that you know the TV crew has at their disposal, who is watching. And that if everyone at home sees on the very first replay that whatever just happened was wrong, terrible call, whatever – that guy whistles down, hey, he change the call. Just like he's also a ref in the booth. The guy, you can put him, you can put him in stripes too. I don't even care. Like he can wear the full on uniform, but someone has to step in when everyone at home knows this was wrong. Immediately, we should be able to change those. It's 2024. Part of me was thinking that maybe they could put a QR code up there during during the replay and people at home could vote, vote on it, like Democratic. But then I think about all the trolls that end up voting like Kanye for president and we'd end up having even bigger problems in the next that's that was like i like your sky judge idea that's one of those ideas where like when you first come up you're like that could and then like you think like one step further down the line you're like this is the worst idea this is terrible that would never work out so cowboys would get every single call their fans would go nuts uh but yeah i 
something has to happen. I just we're tired of it. We're tired of it as fans.